Kelsey. And it's Becky. And we're the Sarah Girls. <laughs> and today we're doing another Halloween costume. This one is a little bit different. Usually when we do Halloween costumes, we try to do them exactly like the movie. Yeah. But we wanted to change it up today. So obviously Suicide Squad came out this year and was a huge success. We already did Harley Quinn and we wanted to do the Joker, but we wanted to do the Joker in more of like a feminine way. Oh yeah, like a sexy, powerful woman way. Like business boss. Yeah, like women. runs the town, is the Joker, but also is like a sexy woman who slays the game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So we took Jared Leto's Joker and kind of feminized it, and uh, this is what we came up with. We're not gonna start this video until you subscribe. We're just we're gonna wait here. It's like it's like the fee for this this video, right? <laughs> and you're going to want to watch the video because we have a super exciting special guest who's gonna come in and help us complete this look. Oh my god, it was a collab, guys! I'm so excited. All right, let's get started. To make this female inspired Jared Leto's The Joker costume, we picked up some key pieces from the thrift store. Obviously, you can do this with whatever you find. Definitely interpret it to fit your style and just go off what you can get, basically. The pieces we chose were black strappy heels, keeping it simple because he's actually barefoot in a lot of the promo shots, some navy cigarette pants, a slightly sexier version of the Joker's sweatpants, this amazing purple trench coat that was too good to pass up on, and some purple medical gloves, which you can easily find online, and we'll even link some below for you. Now onto the pieces that we DIY'd. To make the Joker's cane, we have these two pieces of 5 8 inch wooden dowel that we pre-cut to be 33 inches long and then 5 inches long. We're going to place the small piece on top of the long piece horizontally to form a T shape. Sand down the middle of the small piece so that it sits better against the top of our long piece. Using some purple paint, paint both pieces. Once the paint is dried, use some wood glue to glue both pieces together and hold it in place with some tape while it dries. After that, we added some detail with liquid gold leaf on both sides of the handle as well as around the bottom of the cane. So a key aspect of the Joker's costume are all of his tattoos, so we actually found a source online that has all of his tattoos, so we took two of the most noticeable ones and resize them for you and put them on our blog so they're ready to go and print, but we'll definitely link the source below in case you want to have all of his tattoos um, and just go through all of those as well. Print this page out on some tattoo paper and we'll link below where you can buy that. Once the ink is dry, lay on the adhesive cover, cut out your tattoos and they're ready to be applied. So this last DIY was more of a creative decision because we thought that a choker would be a little bit cuter than all of his chains. We took a strip of gold leather, which you can always paint if you don't have gold, and glued on two bits of cord to each end so that we could tie it up. Okay, so now you've seen the costume. So I have Steph here, who's an amazing makeup artist. Hi. Why don't they check you out? Yeah, sure. Uh, I have a YouTube channel here, also from Toronto. I blog about beauty, but also trans issues if you want to learn about some more serious things. So she's gonna do kind of a female-inspired version of Jared Leto's Joker makeup on me right now. It's gonna be kind of quick and brief here, but if you wanna see a more detailed version of how the makeup was done, you can head over to her channel to check that out after. For the hair, we chose this shoulder-length sleek green wig, which is like the perfect color, and we were graciously gifted uh, it by everydaywigs.com. It's a lace front, and we think the quality is so thick and amazing. We'll definitely link it for you below if you want to get one for yourself. And lastly, the tattoos are super easy to apply. You just take off the adhesive backing, stick it to your skin, and then hold a wet cloth over it for a couple seconds until it starts to get a little bit slippery, and then you take it off, and your tattoo's good to go. All right, makeup, hair, tattoos, everything looks so good. Thank you so much, you killed this. No problem, it's my pleasure. If you guys wanna see how I did the look step by step, there will be a video link right here. You can go check out the full tutorial if it so, you know, compels you. <laughs> and make sure you go and check out all of her stuff and subscribe to her because you will love, love her content. And if you're here from Steph's channel, hi, welcome. I know that you'll love what we do too. I really hope you will. <laughs> all right, let's put on the rest of the costume and show you the final look. Hope you guys liked our womanized 
Joker costume. And if you'd like to see us like gender bend any other costume, please give us ideas below because that's a really cool video idea and I want to do more of it. Again, a huge thank to Steph who came and helped us out with the makeup, made me look super cool. Oh Again, gosh. her video will be linked below. Yeah, nailed it. Also be sure to check out any other Halloween costume tutorials if you're not set on being the Joker. We have Harley Quinn. I know so many people want to be Harley Quinn Which this year. would be an amazing couples costume too if you did this one and Harley Quinn. Yes. This line. Female, female. <laughs> male, female, either one. So definitely go check out our other Halloween costumes. A whole bunch of stuff is going to be linked for you below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure that you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. Sub it! And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye.